Today we're at 1404 Lancaster Court here in McDonough doing a quality control inspection of a home that's just been renovated. Right garage door. Over to the left we have some friendly wasps. We also have some at the uh, entry that could be knocked down. This left garage door from the exterior or from inside, the right, cables are loose, spring is loose, does not operate smoothly is an understatement. There are two remotes. I went ahead and pulled the plug on the left remote, disengaged the drive so that the door could be secured in the down position. There's a hole about 18 inches just off the back corner of the house in line with the deck. Looks like we have another hole that's filled with some debris but not packed down. Perhaps this deck at one time extended a little bit further. The deck on the upper left hand corner, the railing needs securing. I'm missing a cover on the chimney uh, vent from the fireplace. Notice along the edge there, bottom piece is dry rotting away, sun rot probably from in the afternoon. Does not affect operational effectiveness of the home. Again, they did a great job inside. Let's take a look. Got brand new carpet. We have a hole in the left wall as you enter as a result of not having a door stop more than likely in place as you can see this is just wrong this spring on the right hand side of the right door from the inside notice what our other spring looks like compared to that one. So we need an adjustment. Inside the water heater breaker was off. That's why we did not have any hot water. I was unable to test. I did go ahead and flip the hot water breaker in the on position now. Bedroom downstairs looks great. Holes too big for the outlet. These doors are too big for the opening. You need to take the doors down and trim the bottom of them, probably three eighths to a half an inch, so that the doors slide freely to a closed position. For we can't really define it as a closet because there's no garment rack. Please install a garment rack and cut doors. All bathrooms do have their smoke detectors. Or correction, all bedrooms have their smoke detectors. Top of the stairs to the right. Beautiful living room. Fresh paint. New carpet. Have a fireplace with gas assist. No key. Here's our dining area. Take a look at that left corner of the deck again. 
And downstairs, obviously, you couldn't see it. So all we needed a couple of deck screws. That'll hold that corner piece in place. Looks good. Other than that, let's take a look here in the kitchen. Beautiful granite countertops. There's our two remotes for the garage doors. No challenges whatsoever in here. Dishwasher is functioning well. Down the hall, first door on the left. Bedroom. Closet. It has its own garment rack. There's our smoke detector. Into the hall to the left. Another bedroom. Closet looks good. At the very end of the hall we have a bathroom. Bottom of the door is loose. As you can see that screw it still has about another quarter of an inch, three-eighths of an inch to go. Someone missed their aim, please wipe down the toilet. Urine's no. There's urine on the toilet ring. Toilet rim I should say. Not sure what that pretty red color is going around the frame. Did a really good job painting everywhere else. Surprised they just didn't use some white trim uh, paint to cover that red from a previous uh, color of this room perhaps. Here in the master, looks great. Got some dirt sediment in the bottom of the tub. Perhaps when they come to clean the uh, toilet next door, they can wipe down the tub here in the master as well. Last but not least, let's just take a peek upstairs at our furnace. This is important to highlight. We do have some spare filters, which is a good thing. Insulation is hanging down over the steps. That could present a slipping hazard. There's our furnace. And to the right of it, it looks like there's something from AGL. A little memo to repair because the sediment trap is not correct. Please do as AGL says. That concludes our inspection.